Hey everybody, it is a warm summer day at the uh, the middle of August. Is that where we're at? Yeah, yeah it's getting pretty close. Yeah, to it. yeah, this is Zach Bringleson, by the way. He works with us here at Contender Esports, and he actually oversees all the development of everything that we do around the country and around the world, right? Yep. Zach, what's the most interesting uh, country that you've spoken with in the last couple of uh, months, let's say? Oh, I don't know. We're talking to a lot of people in Brazil, yeah. and then we're also getting a lot of people in kind of uh, Africa area and European area. So That's pretty cool. Yeah, all over the place. So every time zone we're speaking with them, is that right? Yes. Yeah. We've got some new locations open. We, Zach and I wanted to tell you about that. The first one is not far from here. It's about an hour, yeah. a little over an hour in about Joplin, Missouri which is a market of just around 50,000 people. We've got a great franchisee there and he is going to crush it. So we're super excited. If you live in a market of around 50,000 people, that is the sweet spot. Let us know about that. What does Zach know? For yep. sure, right? Yep. Yeah. And then we've got another location that's opening this week. Where's that one at? That's in Fort Collins, uh, Colorado. So if you're in that area, definitely check it out. Where there's a grand opening that there's going to be a lot of people, a membership party that you can just have fun with, eat pizza, and just enjoy each other. It's going to be beautiful there in Fort Collins, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I wish I was going. We've got one of our guys going this, leaving this week. This is the second time he's been there yep. in the last couple, couple of weeks. So, um, and then there was another, oh, Gilbert. Uh, Arizona is very close to opening so again we're super excited these things we talk a lot about in the office just like who's inquiring what's happening how close are we get on real estate how many locations do we have open how many are going to be opening yep. that's an exciting conversation yep. isn't it yeah yeah and we've got some really good ones in the pipeline too so that we'll we'll share with you a little bit later but I know that you had a question for me also I did yeah a lot of the times I get the question of what does this do for the city or for the community? And I just honestly wanted you to kind of tell them, what are you doing in Springfield? Because you own the Springfield Contender Sports location, right? I do, yeah. I do. And I love Springfield. I tell people all the time, like if you're gonna be a franchisee with us, you better love your city yeah. because you have to kind of connect with everybody. We love working with the school districts here. I mean, there's not very many cities around the country that are, are in the, at least in this country, where the middle schools, and the high schools, the athletic directors are trying to figure out how to put programs together. So we really kind of help to facilitate that logistically, operationally, how do you do events and tournaments? So what we try to do, Zach, is kind of be the, kind of the knowledge base for everything esports in our city, but I actually, you know, I just left a meeting with uh, a good buddy of mine named Lance Kettering okay. uh, about a half, an, a half an hour ago, and Lance is the director of the Springfield Sports Commission. The reason why I was meeting with him is because we've had some conversations for a couple months about how to develop a nonprofit here in Springfield called the Springfield Esports Coalition, and we're putting that together. It's actually, it was an idea that I had, and then now it's reality. And in the spring, we're gonna help facilitate this in our own city. We're gonna hold the uh, Missouri High School Esports Invitational, which sounds pretty cool, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's super cool. And then we're also going to do our corporate challenge, which is gonna help businesses around the city kind of do uh, competitions in esports. And again, just to generate more interest in what's happening in our city and really be a part of the fabric that's here. So does that kind of answer your question? It does, and it, that sounds, super hard to do is that or do you help with doing that in other communities or is that something that is just here in Springfield we do so I mean everything that we do in other cities we have to template it here right okay. so that's part of why we don't make this a corporate store it's a franchise store I'm a franchisee of myself and then we come up with ideas and uh, there's a million things to do in this industry <laughs> right there's just so many things but what we try to do is create the structure build the SOPs around it, roll it out to our franchisees, and say, if you'd like to do this, it's kind of like Home Depot. Yeah. You and I use that metaphor yeah. a lot, right? Like, fran Explain what that means, like franchising, and what, what we say about Home Depot. Yeah, that's actually a really good analogy. Essentially, if we're the Home Depot, we have all the resources you need. We have the wood, the nails, the blueprints, but we aren't going to build the house for you. That has to be done by the person who wants to build the house. In other terms, we know how to start the business, how to run the business, but we can't run the business for you. If you want to be in this uh, this business industry and the esports industry, that has to be taken by some initiative to want to bring this to community. That's true, that's true. And so even like this esports coalition, like you don't have to do it in your city, but if you'd like to do that and layer that on top of all the other operational things that we have, we figure that out, we get it all structured, we hand it over to you, and then as much help as you want from us to execute and implement on that, that's what being a franchisee is about. We can't do everything, right? Because there's way too many things yep. in this industry. I mean, you want to have summer camps and after school programs and the academy that we're starting again for another season next week and the 
coalition. It just goes on and on and on and on. But as a franchisee, you don't have to actually come up with all this stuff. You get to cherry pick out, you get the basics and you get to cherry pick like what things really fit in my city and then plug them in and use them. So anyway, there's the update, Zach. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think that's a good update. And if you guys are wanting to explore this just a little bit further, I'm the go-to guy. So uh, feel free to email back, reach out. I'll, I'll put some links in our uh, description just to go there. And that's the quickest way to connect with us to see one, if this will work in your city and two, how can we start that process to go a little bit further in depth? Awesome. I feel like we should high five. <laughs> right, thank you. Bye-bye.